Hello everybody, welcome to the first broadcast of the Urge Warriorist YouTube channel. Uh, now some of you followed me on my so-called uh, pilot <laughs> uh, YouTube channel. Um, and I'll, for those of you who haven't, I'm gonna introduce just briefly who I am and a little bit about the project I'm doing. Uh, so you can decide whether or not you want to follow along and join me for my journey. So my name is Ashley. Um, I am the Urge Warrioress here on the Urge Warrioress channel. And the reason why I chose the name for this channel is because 90 days ago, I made a conscious decision to address an overeating problem that I had had on and off for 15 years. I had tried, I had tried various methods of addressing the problem over the years and had not found anything that gave me long-term success. So I thought of this crazy, seemingly random idea. I said, you know, what if I make videos, right? Because I had tried recording videos to myself to like play back, like if I was having an urge to overeat, like play back the video and reinforce the thoughts. Uh, but you know, I thought, I really, uh, recovery for me, um, I don't want it to be a solitary thing, right? Like I can benefit from the community. Um, and there are set communities out there of people recovering from eating disorders, but I really didn't feel like I fit in or that their recovery approach was right for me. So I said, you know what? I am going to talk to um, just a small group of people closest in my life that know that I've been going through this and say, hey, I'm gonna try something new. Other things haven't worked. I'm feeling motivated to change. Um, I wanna try this. Would you be willing to just receive my videos every day. No pressure to watch them, no pressure to text back. Um, I just need to text you to hold myself accountable and, and you can do with the video, you know, what you'd like. So I tried that and that approach ended up being really successful for me in uh, reducing my binge eating behaviors. Um, out of a 90 day pilot that I did trying this, 74 out of 90 days were uh, free of overeating. So I used various methods that helped me cope with urges in the moment, um, and I'll get to those uh, throughout um, throughout this series. And when my 90 days started approaching, I was thinking of, okay, so I've, I've had some growth in stopping this compulsive eating behavior, which I will continue to build upon, um, but what's the next? Uh, What's the next step in my growth as a person now that I've had some progress with this? Um, and after talking to some people close to me and doing some soul searching, the answer um, became clear. Um, I uh, recently separated from um, my husband about nine months ago. Um, I was in, uh, I'm 36 right now. I've been in back-to-back -back relationships pretty much since I was 18. So this is my first time um, being single as an adult basically ever um you know and while part of me is anxious to date again another part of me knows that i need to clean my own house a little bit and really learn how to be a good partner to myself before i put myself out there that way so the next 90 days i am going to date myself and today is day one of dating myself right day one of 90, um, where I am going to relate to myself as if I were my own intimate partner and treat myself with the love that I would treat an intimate partner whom I loved and cared for with. Um, and you know, you see plenty of things going around about, you know, seven ways to date yourself. And a lot of the suggestions are, bring yourself to the movies, take yourself to dinner, dress up, like do your hair, take a bubble bath. And all of that is will be incorporated into my next 90 days at some, some way. But what I really want to do is get at the root. I wanna get at the root, at the drive. I'm the, I'm the urge warriorist, right? So um, what I really want to do is, is get to what is causing 
the urges, the urges to overeat, the urges to pursue somebody romantically, right? The urges to fantasize. Like I want to get at the root of that and learn how to self-soothe and respond to those urges on my own so I'm not dependent on an external stimulus to do that for me, which is what happened with food and which is how I've conducted my romantic life for a long time. So that ties in a little bit about how my last mission with uh, stopping overeating ties in to this 90 days of dating myself right now. And for today, I, and, and basically each day, I am going to, um, I, I came, I, basically what I did is I listed all of the needs that I have had from intimate partners and all the needs that I currently feel like this is a need I would want like an intimate partner to fulfill, right? For the next 90 days, I am going to fulfill all of those needs myself. So I made a list of the different needs um, and I don't have 90 yet. I started with 12. <laughs> some of them might recycle themselves, but basically each day there's some I'm going to do daily and there's some that kind of throughout the journey I'm going to pick like, okay, I'm going to focus on this for today and that will be the topic of my video. So the first um, need I came up with is that when I when I have the like desire to have an intimate partner or the attachment to one, like one of the one of the, the needs that I want that to fulfill is like being part of a tribe, right? Which I think is a very like primal thing. Like we all want to be part of a tribe somehow. Um, and I don't have children. That's by choice. Um, uh, sorry, tails. Okay, so I have a feline child, but like that's it, right? I don't have any human children, and that's by choice. You know, so it's really Im important to me, like with an intimate partner, that we are part of like something larger together, right? Like a larger cause outside of ourselves, or a larger community outside ourself. Um, so that's something. That's like. Um, a need that often I might seek out a romantic partner to kind of like help me fulfill. Like we're like, we're lovers in the context of this larger tribe, right? So I think a way I can fulfill that need when I'm by myself is still collect connecting with um, groups in the community, connecting with like existing, you know, units in my extended family, like reaching out to um, groups I know that have some sort of like collective mission, right? And it might be like, you know, some kind of tribes here and there. Um, but just reminding myself that I don't need to be in like this, um, like monogamous marriage type relationship to like be part of a larger family. There's so many ways that can look like there's so many things that that can look like. Um, and I think that participating in causes, right, that are so much greater than me and that I, I know a lot of people are participating in as well, even if they can't be with me at this very moment, breaks that isolation a little bit and makes helps me feel like I'm part of something larger and important. Um, so that's one of the ways I'm going to take care of myself today. And one of the ways I'm concretely going to do that is I got a text from moveon.org saying that there is a, um, you know, call for, I think call for volunteers, something, um, gosh, can I tell you? I forgot the topic, but I remember reading the text and be like, that's one way I can apply that, you know, connect with other people all over the country, right, that are uh, fired up about something that I am. And that's another thing too. I like when like me and an intimate partner are fired up on this about the same thing like oh yeah yeah let's go like let's go protest about that like that's that's my kind of lover but um for these 90 days i am going to be that lover for myself right show up a hundred percent um to these things and just participate um participate in the larger world um just as me you know and trust that that will be okay for today um, so one more thing I wanted to say, uh, I was going to do this at the beginning, but um, I'm not good at following scripts. I go off the cuff. So might bounce around here and there, but my last point before I wrap up, because I do want to keep these videos uh, relatively brief, 10 minutes or less if needed. Oh, I'm already at 947. All right, 
let, let's do like 12-ish minutes or, or less for this one. Um, so just to talk a little bit about why I picked the name Urge Warrioress specifically. Um, so the urge part, I explained this a little bit, but you know, I, I knew that the missing piece in my recovery from my binge eating problem was to have a better way of not giving into urges in the moment. I'd done a lot of the work, other work around recovery, but like, you know, it was like in that moment, like just saying no, you know, to, um, to the urge. So I sought some, um, resources around that. Um, there's a book by Katherine Hansen called Brain Over Binge that was really helpful in, uh, in helping me determine this. Um, also, there's a book called Rational Recovery, um, written, I think, specifically for alcoholism, but like applied to, to, you know, all kinds of addictive behaviors. They kind of helped me realize that, um, learn about like the different parts of my brain and how they respond to addictive urges. And I had, I had realized that, you know, there is a less developed, you know, part of our brains, like a more primal part of our brains, where those types of urges come from. And basically I learned how to, um, you know, if I would just say to myself, there is that part of your brain going again and kind of separate the urge from who I truly am, um, it helped me get to, uh, it, it, it helps me kind of get to the next step, right? I, I created this little method called Catch, Dispute, Act, Trust. Um, if you want to learn more about it, um, I actually did uh, create a little write-up about it for anybody who would be interested in applying it. Um, you can uh, reach out to me, urgewarrioress at gmail.com, and I'd be happy to share the information with you. Um, but basically, it consists of catching the urge, like, ooh, urge, there you go, I see you, disputing the urge, saying, you're not gonna fool me, I know what this is, and actually, binging won't make the behavior okay at all. And then the last two, which were really the toughest, acting, acting differently, right? It's C-D-A-T, 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 you see that? So the A part, so the catch, dis dispute, the A part, act, act, act differently, act in a way that the disorder, the disorder would not have acted. And then T, this is a hard part too. Trust, trusting, trusting, trusting that if you act in a different way, it will be okay. You're not going to explode or go crazy from sitting through the urge. If you sit with it for a little bit, it will be okay. So I use that process combined with um, a daily support network that grew gradually over time. Um, and it really, really helped me, you know, in my, in my recovery. And I would talk about urges that come up every day and just share my daily experience. So now I'm using my 90 days of dating myself to do the same thing because it's hard, you know, it's, it's, it's hard. You know, I am so used to like fantasizing about other people, <laughs> like meeting my needs. Like it is hard to kind of, basically what I'm going to have to do is every time I have that thought of, you know, Oh, I want to be with someone because of X. Okay, what's what's the core need there and how can you do that for yourself? So those are the urges that I'm going to be tracking for the next 90 days, plus all the food stuff too. So the updates um, that you'll hear from me throughout this 90 days are going to be about, um, gosh, like two of our most like primal urges, like um, food and love slash sex. So... Um, I am glad you're here for the ride with me. Um, I already violated my time limit. I'm almost up to 14 minutes. Most of them probably will not be this long because I had to do kind of a recap of where we're at so far, but please subscribe. Um, I'm gonna do short videos every day, so please, please, please subscribe um, if you want to join me on my journey, and I will talk to you all tomorrow, okay? Have a great day, thanks.